On this episode of the Pop Shop Show, we interview a chef who has a way with desserts, cakes, and is here to make St. Patrick's Day special. Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 15 of the Pop Shop Show. It's our Happy St. Patrick's Day episode. And I'm very, very excited. I've got my very good friend, Beth, here. Why don't you introduce yourself a little bit, Beth? Who are you? How do you know me? How do you know the shop? What do you do? Um, I'm Beth, and I know you because you're my friend. (laughs) 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 Um, I am a chef, sort of. I cook food. Woohoo! Professionally. Professionally. Like a chef. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the kitchen that I run, yes. <laughs> right on. So we became friends, uh, I want to say five or six years ago, yes. right when I got home from my mission. Um, Beth's good friends with both my brothers, Tyler and Chad, for those of you who know them. And I became friends with all of their friends the second I got home from my mission, including my wife, Brooke, who's behind the camera right now. That's who I was pointing to. <laughs> um, but So we've been good friends for a long, long time. And how long have you been doing the chef thing? Um, about eight years, and That's awesome. I started when I was twenty, and just fell in love with it and kept going. And here we are. Here we are. Eight years later. <laughs> eight years later. <laughs> you know, you actually made Brooke and I's wedding cake. I did. Uh, when we got married, and that was super special. I know that you've made cakes for different parties at our house and stuff like that. You made an Oscars cake for an Oscars party there, that we yeah. had. You made a cake <laughs> in the shape of my brother's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started in the kitchen with my mom when I was about two years old. So we've been oh my gosh. kind of grew up with it, but never really discovered how much I wanted to do it for a career until I was in my 20s. Um, the cake started when I was a nanny in New York, and I had to make a cake for the little boy, and he wanted a truck cake. And I didn't know how to do it, so <laughs> it ended up looking really weird, but I got it. <laughs> and then I just sort of liked it, so I kept building on the talent and watching YouTube and Googling things until yeah. I figured out how to do everything. YouTube and, University, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, we're going to be making something that's much, much simpler than that, so no worries there. We're going to be making uh, chocolate pretzel four-leaf clovers, which okay. is for St. Patrick's Day. We actually have a little decoration here, and you probably can't read it in the camera, but I'm going to read it to you guys. So it says, a best friend is like a four-leaf clover, which is what we're making today. So it's hard to find, but lucky to have. Aww. Thanks for being my friend. Yeah. How cute is that? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get going. Really, really simple, guys. A lot of you guys don't know that we make pretzels here at the shop, but we do. We do chocolate-covered pretzels. We do candy-covered pretzels. Have you ever had any mm-hmm. of our stuff? Yeah. That's good, huh? It's delicious. Yeah, I like the almond-coated pretzels myself. Those are my favorite. But... The only thing you got to know about pretzels is that they're actually really, really easy to have a lot of fun with. And so we're just going to be dipping them in white chocolate. The only thing that you need to know with white chocolate, maybe two things, is number one, that it's really, really easy to burn uh, when you're heating it up in the microwave. So just make sure you take it out and stir it occasionally. And number two is that it will seize up with um, food coloring a lot of the times. Um, So Yes, water-based food dye. And so... We have a uh, powdered uh, food coloring that we use in the shop here that is a little bit better off, but just make sure once you put that food dye in there that you don't dilly dally. You got to go. You got to dip and you got to go. So, um, you actually, could you start spraying our pan for us? Chef Beth. Do people call you chef at work? No, they call me Beth. Okay. Because <laughs> I know some kitchens are like really like militaristic. I, I just like to keep it fun and casual. You know, chef, sous chef, yes chef, no chef. No. <laughs> I've watched I've watched Iron Chef, so basically I know how that goes. I'm, I'm a chill chef. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Probably better to work with, right? Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of green in here, and I'm not sure exactly how much we'll use. I'll put a little bit of extra in if I don't think it's St. Patrick's-y enough. So I'm going to stir this up really, really fast. Like I said, once you stir it, you got to go. So... See, there you can see it's not seasoned up like it would with a water-based food dye, like you said. Um, And it's nice and green for our St. Patrick's Day. So, you want to do the honors and dip the first one? Sure. Dip the first one, then you just throw it in the middle of the tray. What size? Oh, just like all the way. Oh, like yeah, like all all the way. Yeah. 
We're going to get all kinds of messy, which is why we've got our gloves on today. Don't try this at home unless you're ready to make a little bit of a mess. Just right in the middle. Nice. Okay. Now, so here's how it's going to look like a clover, okay? So we're not just dipping pretzels because it's fun, although it is. I always like messing around with chocolate because you can do so many fun things with it. You know, you just put it in a, <laughs> like lick your fingers when you're done. Um, just put it in a Ziploc bag and you can do all kinds of fun stuff like write your name in it. So we're going to make a little clover. So yours is going to go right there. Okay. Okay. And Brooke, maybe actually you can bring the camera in for a close up on this. As you can see right there, you've got your little flower here. It's upside down for the camera, unfortunately. But oh, that was my bad. I right apologize. side up for us. <laughs> and then look at that. Beep. <laughs> There's our little clover. Okay, we're going to make one or two more, but you guys can see. And actually, if you put enough chocolate in the center, why don't you put another big dab of chocolate in the center there? So that when they dry, you know, in five or ten minutes, they'll actually stick together, kind of like a cookie. Be able to eat your clover all at once. Nice. Okay, Brooke, you can head back out. So, like you can uh, see here, that's super, super easy. Something fun that you could do with your kids. You know, if I can make it, a kid can definitely make it, you know, so uh, lots of fun. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long. Um, the only thing is you're going to want to make sure you let the chocolate dry. Um, that one doesn't look as good. I'm I think it's because I dipped two of these and you dipped <laughs> the most of those ones. I think you're you better just, than you I am. Fix it with a little detail. Yeah. There you go. The See, details. look at this. You know, a professional touch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Makes all the difference. I'm just going to put my little stem there again. Badoop. <laughs> oh, Beth, we're just finishing up our third one right here. Real quick, where um, are you working right now so that we can try some of your delicious food? I am working at the Lion House down in Salt Lake City on Temple Square and I run their banquet kitchen, so don't confuse it with the pantry restaurant because that's below me. Not below me, it's just in, it's like in the basement. physically the below. Floor. <laughs> <laughs> Different floors. <laughs> um, but I mean, I started out in the pantry, so I can't give them crap. They do, they do great work, but um, so yeah, I'm in the banquet Physically <laughs> above. Physically above. Not them. metaphorically above. No. So yeah, and uh, so we do weddings and um, business meetings or bridal showers, whatever Very kind cool. of events you want. So you can awesome. come and have some And <laughs> what if somebody wants one of your delicious cakes? Do you sell those to anybody but friends and family or do you have to get the inside track? <laughs> um, you know, we are always open to anybody that would like to enjoy our cake. So uh, <laughs> usually on Facebook you can find me. Or <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's very just... Word of mouth, so. <laughs> and what's your name on Facebook so that they can search you? Elizabeth Turner. Elizabeth Turner. Yes. Just like the Pirates of the Caribbean yes. star. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Anyways, Beth, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being on the show today. Um, this was a lot of fun. I'm glad that you were able to uh, spend the day with us and, and make some fun chocolate four-leaf <laughs> clovers. That's what they are. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, thanks again for watching episode number 15 of the Pop Shop Show. We taught popcorn, eat popcorn, and most importantly, show you recipes that you can make at home.